Okay, guys, check it out. I'm in Parma. I was just actually down the way here filming the old Toys R Us that's now a Halloween city. And I pulled up around here to turn around. And I noticed this thing up here. And some people were just walking by. They told me that this used to be the giant eagle. Well, I see that there's a giant eagle right down here. But they said this was a giant eagle. And then it became a good sense, which apparently is owned by a giant eagle. But we're going to take a look at this thing because it looks pretty awesome. So here's what this place looks like. It's pretty awesome looking, actually. I mean, it doesn't look to be in bad shape. So I don't know why a giant eagle would just, like, move right next door. Unless they just wanted a new building or something. But... Here it goes from over here, all the way down, and you can kind of see a label scar up there at the top. I was trying to make it out, and, and it probably said good sense, you know, like that lady said. And I would assume that behind that, because it looks like that was put up like panels of wood or something, and I would assume behind that is where it said Giant Eagle. Because as you can see down here, Giant Eagle uses, uh, you know, big letters. So that's probably what was up here in the first place. It doesn't look like any of these windows are papered over or anything. So let's go see if we can get a look inside. I think it's a pretty awesome looking place, actually. All right, let's hope we can see in. This will be cool. Crap, hold on. Ah, you can't see anything, man. They must, they must have it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, you can't see anything. Maybe on the edge here. Ooh, we can see a little bit on the edge. We're living on the edge, guys. <laughs> if we can look in a little bit on each of the edges. There you go. Just a little bit. Yeah, look, they got the black covering the windows. I didn't even notice that when I first walked up. So we got to look through the edges of every place. Can barely see on that one. Let's go around the front here. Maybe we'll be able to see better. Eh. Not as good as I wish. Let's keep trying. <laughs> Don't tell me this is all we're going to get to see, man. It looks like maybe over here. I can lift the camera up and put it on top of the black there. Keep driving. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, that works. Yep. Pretty cool. Let's move over a little bit. Yeah, look at that. Pretty creepy. I'd love to just be able to go in and look around. That'd be cool. Let's go around this other side here, because I know there's more windows down here. We'll see if we can see anything in. They're probably all blacked out, but we're going to try. Okay. Yeah, there we go. A little bit. I can't tell if they got lights on in there or not. I don't think so. Maybe one... Yeah, there's a light on way back in the back there. Let's go on down here. There's some more uh, windows. And I'm pretty sure this is all still part of this building. Yeah, I can already see this falling apart. Lights on in there. There we go. That's better. Yeah, look at that. That opens up into the store there. I wonder if this was like that eagle's nest or something. You know, they got that place where kids can play. Eh. Crap, those are all blacked out there. Or I suppose it could have been like Giant Eagle Optical or something. I'm not aware that they have an optical department at Giant Eagle, but possibly. I don't know how long ago they would have closed. I looked on Google Earth and there was still nothing in here at all. That's a pretty cool looking building though. I like that. And I don't see any kind of uh, signs or anything out here that still says anything about Giant Eagle or even a good sense like she said it was. So I guess that's it, guys. We got to look a little bit at it. See a little bit of the, the sales floor in there. Looked pretty cool. All right, I'm out.